Mina, come on why, Jesus freaking gamer here. Back with some more joke for you and an explanation in regards to the videos yet again. I do this like once, maybe twice a week, don't I? Doggone it. Ugh. Will I get better? I don't know. Hopefully, maybe you have faith in me, right guys? You don't! That's me! I don't much appreciate that. Doggone it. I'm gonna keep trying though, I'm gonna keep pushing. What ended up happening was I put out the Bible speaking video, or I'm, I'm sorry, I made it Saturday night and internet was down. And for some reason, even though I made the video on my phone, because I was like, oh, I've still got, you know, I've still got, uh, blah, 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 what is it? My wireless, my, um, TV, my telephone company, I've still got my telephone company's wireless signal, even though I don't have internet at home. Well, for some reason, I didn't. So I wasn't able to put out that video till Sunday. And then internet was restored Sunday, but I, I, I could have made the videos. I really could have. I could have. I could have made them happen. I could have made the preaching videos. I could have put out the video game videos on Sunday. I just didn't. I could have done it. We got internet back Sunday, but I didn't. So that was my fault. That was my mistake. And I do owe you all an apology for it. And I am sorry. I could put that in the heaven video, the 30 minute or almost 30 minutes, actually 30 under 30 minutes this time. How weird is that? Mentioned that at the beginning of that video. Wanted to mention it at the beginning of this video as well. Let you guys know that it was my fault. I, if there was an internet problem, it was fixed Sunday, and I could have done something about it, and I chose not to. So that was on me. So I am sorry yet again. Who knows how many more times this will happen? Probably many. But on towards the book of Job. Now, this is chapter 26. Today's message is very simple. I'm actually going to read almost all of chapter 26. I'm going to start at verse 5 and read through the end of verse 14. It's just a description of how awesome God is, of how amazing He is. So let's go. The dead tremble, those under the waters and those inhabiting them. Sheol is naked before Him, and destruction has no covering. He stretches out the north over empty space. He hangs the earth on nothing. He binds up the water in his thick clouds, yet the clouds are not broken under it. He covers the face of his throne and spreads his cloud over it. He drew a circular horizon on the face of the waters, at the boundary of light and darkness. The pillars of heaven tremble and are astonished at his rebuke. He stirs up the sea with his power, and by his understanding he breaks up the storm. By his spirit he adorned the heavens, his hand pierced the fleeing serpent. Indeed, these are the mere edges of his ways, and how small a whisper we hear of him. But the thunder of his power, who can understand? Just talking about the majesty of creation and how this is just a beginning. This is just a starting point to who God is. It, I read that and it inspires me so much just to hear about how big and how amazing my God is. Guys, That's I'm going to close right there. Um, thank on that. Maybe read those verses for yourself. Once again, that is Job chapter 26, verses 5 through 14. That was almost the whole chapter of the Bible. That wasn't too bad, was it? Um, God is great and glorious, and it's good. It's good to just sometimes meditate on how amazing, how big, and how awesome our God is. Thank you very much for watching. I love you. God bless.